G'day, I'm Mike Beach from Taranaki Regional Council. I'm from the Environment Services Department, and today I'm here to talk to you about this pest plant here called Pampas. And we need your help to start controlling it around Taranaki as it's becoming increasingly more common. It's a large exotic grass that came from South America, was brought in for ornamental purposes and for also shelter belts as well. Um, as you can see, big clump forming grass, large sheaths here with a large seed head on the top. The reason why this is a problem is because it spreads and forms large dense clumps. It will colonise, readily colonise bare ground with thousands of seeds on these seed heads here that will blow away in the wind and sometimes water as well. It can also be caused accidental dispersal with machinery, clothing, animals, roadsides, cars, that sort of thing. Some identifying features of Pampas, it looks very similar to our native toy toy. So if you just come in close here. It has a single midrib down the leaf there. Whereas our native toy toy will have several ribs right across the leaf. Another identifying feature of Pampas is its very erect seed head. Once this big, big flower spike comes up. Pampa, uh, toy toy, sorry has more of a drooping seed head, and that makes it a lot more identifiable. Another thing, if you just come around here, is another identifying feature is these curling leaves here look like wood shavings. This does not occur on Toy Toy, but will occur on Pampas. The ways to remove Pampas from your property are either to mechanically remove it, digging, taking it, making sure you take out the whole root system, or using herbicide and spraying all the leaves, making sure you get total coverage of the plant. Um, any further information, feel free to call us at Taranaki Regional Council or go and visit the Weed Buster site. Happy weed busting.